Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyric. Today, I would like to do a energy, ugh, an energy reading for the sun sign of Capricorn. We'll take a look at messages from Source, and we'll pull some tarot. I guess messages are tarot messages are messages from Source as well. I just mean using oracle cards because I um, I get things mixed up pretty easily. Anyways, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If after watching it, you feel um, guided to book a personal reading with me, I'll have those details in my description box. I've been posting a lot of videos today, so I haven't had time to update, but you can um, check back um, in an older video and see what I mean by the details in my description box. So, um, uh, let's see, messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, what do they need to know? Okay. And the first card I got, oh boy. So I knew this was gonna, this bound to happen. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, Sir Win. Serial win, um, transformation, knowledge, and magic. Um, and so what I'm really getting with this is a, um, this could be you or this could be um, one of your guides that um, this is about uh, embracing the intuition, um, transmuting negative energy, um, dealing with the subconscious mind, dealing with um, those um, dark emotions. Um recognizing that just because you feel something isn't the the whole matter of the situation it's just part of it and don't um, associate your identity with a feeling is what I'm getting but I'm actually going to pull the book on this card um because I don't know what serotonin serotonin is and I'll just show you this card really quick and you see this weird O, I don't know if it's a letter O, a letter D, a letter, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to pull the book, okay, just to um, bring some balance, okay. It's the number 16, so it reduces to the number 7, which is divinity and source. So, um, and I don't know that much about uh, numerology. I'm, I want to learn, get back into it. I think that's why I keep talking about the numbers, so that I can educate myself more. But um, I'll try to find, I'll learn more about what the number seven means. But that's all I know that it means is the divinity. Anyways, um, let's get, it's number 16. So one second here. 14 and 16. Okay, so it's a D. So Redwin is known as a shape-shifting underworld goddess. She is said to stir her cauldron, making her herbal magical brews. Legend tells of Gwen, of Gwen, a boy left in charge to stir the cauldron's potion, who accidentally splashed it. He sucked the three the three drops off his thumb, and from the from this potion, he was bestowed knowledge, magic, and the goddess's shape shifting skills. So Redwin was angry and chased Gwen away. They both shapeshifted into many a manner of animals to escape until eventually Gwen was eaten by Seredwin, but his life force merged with hers and she became pregnant with his essence. Seredwin could not bear to keep him, but he was a beautiful child, so she bundled him up and set him upon the water where he was later found and adopted. He, it is said that he grew up to be the famous um, Talisian. On drawing the Seraduin card, a transformation is likely if you are not already beginning one. First, it is necessary to gather all the correct ingredients and place them in the mixing pot, being careful to ensure everything is placed at the correct time, which may mean certain astrological points in time also. Transformation can be welcomed and sometimes not. But one thing remains certain, you will not be the same afterwards, and this is usually a good thing, no matter how you might perceive it at the time. Just as the story on shapeshifting goes, so too is it important to shapeshift or be adaptable to every different situation. What in your life can you apply this to? Where do you need to adopt, adapt or adopt a different way of being? Look at each situation and decide what qualities you need most to navigate your way through. It's about thinking and doing differently 
in order to obtain a different outcome than normal. What magic will you put into the cauldron? Serdwin is also known as the moon goddess. Another significant sign of cycles and change. Everything is in a state of flux. The only constant in life is change. A time to roll with the flow. Look at yourself and your life and see what needs to change. Needs to move. Needs to grow. Let it end and don't resist. This is the gift of change. What are you ready to create? Yeah. So let me pull another card for you. Okay. This just might be my last reading for the night because I'm feeling really worn out. Um, and you've got the green fairy, mischief, freedom, and reckless. And so what I'm getting with this energy is that it, um, now is a good time to just let loose and have some fun. That um, you could be um, going through some uh, transformation. It might, it might be a good idea to not take things so seriously. To have a light heart at this time. To try to find the fun in things if you can. That um, that might be your way through this situation is to have as much fun as possible. So um, I'm going to pull some tarot. Or actually I want to get, um, gosh, I think, I, I do think I'm going to use these star seed, this star seed deck. Um, okay, messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. messages for Capricorn what do they need to know for their highest good messages for Capricorn and I've got Pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so it could be that um, you, that you do have this awareness um, and understanding that um, you're to be channeling messages that you're um, actually a channel for the Pleiades and um, people on earth need to know um, what their messages are, that there are people on earth who um, don't know that they're part of the Pleiadian starseed family and that you can um, help welcome them in, that you can instruct them, that you can provide guidance and a sense of home for, the, for um, another person. Uh, and you can do that with your channeling abilities. Um, is what I'm feeling. Uh, let's get one more message. And it could be that you're a little bit uh, afraid of this, um, of this um, activity, that you're afraid that people are going to judge you, that they might make fun of you, that um, they might think that you're strange. But um, this is uh, part of your calling. And this is, um, and you have to remember that you're helping other people that you're possibly saving another person's life, okay? Uh, let's get another card. I've got the warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? And I just feel that this is confirmation about um, your channeling abilities um, and stepping up into your role, that you are trans transforming whether you like it or not, that these changes are happening in you and through you, that, um, yeah, that there's a lot going on in your life at this time, Capricorn, okay? And just to um, not be afraid, um, to just take it um, day by day and, and do what you can when you're able. So let's pull some tarot. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands came flying out. The Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. One second here. So I am getting that um, this transformation has been um, quite difficult for you. That it hasn't really been easy. That you've gone through a lot of difficult situations and circumstances. That you've dealt with difficult people. Um, but that's all the more reason why you're um, the perfect candidate to be a channeler. To um, That your heart is open. That your crown chakra is open into receiving. Um, sometimes when our ego is extremely present... That we're not able to, uh, we're not able to listen to other messages. We're not willing to participate in other um, div divine um, 
in other divine situations that were were too um, were too judgmental, and um, and I feel that uh, you don't you're not you're ju you're judgmental when you need to be, but um, you're you're at the right place, and um, I'm really feeling that you're kind of like putty at this time, that um, you because you've done a lot of really hard work. And um, your soul and your spirit is um, open and receptive to um, all di that the divine has to offer. And so be willing to um, embrace this and be willing to share it with others. Um, take your time. Um, I see that, um, that you still are um, holding back a little bit. That mentally you're kind of like considering all of your options. And even uh, maybe like, oh gosh, what are all these things that I have to do? And... Um, and you're, I, I feel that you're a little bit overwhelmed at this time with so much on your plate, but just, um, take your time, take it slow, um, do what's best for you. Um, I'm going to pull some more tarot. Uh, tell me more about Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Tell me, I got this. We've got the nine of wands feeling defensive and not giving up. And this could be, um, you could be defending, um, let's pull some more. What does Capricorn need to know? Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. The Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So, um, in your future energy, you will be, um, a lot more situated on your path. You won't be struggling, with um, the idea of channeling so much that um, at this time you are a little bit exhausted with fighting. Um, just fighting yourself is what I'm getting. That you um, are still um, pulled into 3D circumstances quite extensively. And you're having a hard time um, separating 3D reality from your higher calling. That you're still on the fence about, um, you know, what? Am I supposed to do this? Instead of, oh, well, I see everybody else doing, going to work and getting married and having children and buying a boat. I don't know why I got that one. But just kind of like those really basic, regular types of things. Uh, I really feel that you want to do that. That you really um, want to be that sort of regular person. But Source has a bigger plan for you. And um, it's time to recognize that and welcome it because you have gifts. Um, you're a Pleiadian channel and um, the more that um, we come together and um, share our, and spread our gifts, the easier it is to um, have other people do the same so that other people who aren't, um, who are feeling lost or not um, welcomed on this earth, they can um, find who their family is, they can find their place here and they can feel comfortable being here. So, um, and I feel that you will help them feel that way, that you'll be able to um, offer that comfort and solace to, to others um, because of your abilities and because of the special um, gifts that you have. Just your presence with them helps them. Like you don't even have, you don't have to find that perfect thing to say that just you being around helps. Um, so don't be alarmed and um, try to um, embrace this um, new path. Um, yeah, so um, that's all that I have for this reading. Um, I hope that you loved it. Um, I'll see you later.